24-year-old rapper 6ix9ine, whose real name is actually Daniel Hernandez, is by all accounts incredibly successful. His music career has topped charts and cemented a place for himself in the industry, all while growing a net worth of over $8 million. However, one thing sets him solidly apart from his fellow celebrities, and that is that he is almost universally hated. Rather than being a star that fans look up to and admire, most people find his attitude and criminal history alarming and scary, although they can't seem to look away as his popularity continues to grow. Even those in his industry find 6ix9ine off-putting, and in this video, we will be looking at some of the real reasons that rappers are scared of 6ix9ine, and some are downright jaw-dropping. But before we get into the video, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel with notifications on so you don't miss any of the exciting new videos we post. First up, child sex charges. It goes without saying that accruing a child sex charge is one of the easiest ways to become hated and reviled, and that applies to 6ix9ine as well. The rapper was sentenced to 1,000 hours of community service and four years of probation in a trial that gathered national headlines after he posted a video of a 13-year-old girl performing a sexual act in 2015. He claimed that he thought she was of age, but he was still charged with a crime as ignorance is no excuse. And while a charge like this would instantly ruin the career of any other celebrity, it seems that Hernandez is wholly unbothered and largely unapologetic, further drawing hate and scorn from the public. It is this attitude that makes other rappers and his associates fear the rapper and what he could be capable of. It gives us shivers to think about. Number 2. Nine Trey Gangsta Bloods Gang as if a child sex charge wasn't enough, 6ix9ine also pled guilty to federal charges of racketeering, conspiracy, firearm offenses, and drug trafficking. He was arrested and charged at the culmination of a five-year-long investigation into the Nine Trey Gangsta Bloods by the federal police, leading them to suspect his involvement. He initially pled not guilty and was facing life in prison, but changed his plea to guilty and was offered a reduced sentence in exchange for information on the gang. The New York gang was an incredibly violent one, involved in robberies and shootings that included the deaths of innocent bystanders. Needless to say, the rapper's involvement in such a gang did nothing to improve the general public opinion of him, especially after his plea deal only saw him serve a year and a half behind bars. 3. A Huge Criminal Background Although many rappers enter the music industry with their fair share of marks on their criminal record, for the most part, they are of such a nature that the public doesn't hold it against them, and they go on to win over fans and have successful music careers. However, none have quite the sordid background of 6ix9ine, and his record is not as easily overlooked. Aside from the ever-present child sex charges stemming from 2015, he has also been convicted of violations of the Federal Racketeer Influenced and Corrupt Organizations, RICO Act, which includes firearm charges, conspiracy to murder, and armed robbery. He was allowed to serve his sentence for these charges confined to his home on the grounds that he was at an increased risk of contracting COVID-19 due to his asthma. He was also insinuated in an incident where his music industry friend turned enemy Trippy Red was beat up in a New York hotel lobby. Needless to say, his record isn't winning him any friends. Next up, snitching to avoid a prison sentence. Although 6ix9ine spent 19 months behind bars, his original sentence was a lengthy 47 years. His sentence was shortened drastically in exchange for information on the Nine Trey Gangsta Bloods gang that he is part of, proving that his loyalty only ran so deep when it came to his gang affiliations that he had previously been so proud to flaunt. And as he was surprisingly proud to proclaim, informing on gang members could result in your own death. However, it seems that 
Hernandez simply doesn't care what anyone thinks about him or the risks of his actions, so this comes as no surprise to those who have been following his career. However, snitching on his gang caused him to fall even further in the eyes of his fellow rappers and music industry co-workers, and Snoop Dogg even took to Instagram to demand that they gotta stop pushing this rat. Unfortunately, the rat is still being pushed and is just as successful as ever. Number 5. Owning the Insults One of the things that makes 6 9 a truly terrifying wild card for his fellow rappers is his total disregard for insults and bad press. In fact, the more that people publicly insult him, the happier it seems to make him. During his trial, an understandably intense amount of bad press and outrage was circling, and popular SoundCloud rapper Trippy Red released his single Under Enemy Arms, which was not so subtly throwing shade at 6 9 by featuring a rat in the video with the rainbow-colored hair that had become Hernandez's trademark feature. But after being released from prison, he showed how little he truly cared about the insults and released his Gooba video, which proudly featured him as the very rat that had been used to insult him. He knows what the public thinks of him and what they want to say about him, and he publicly owns those thoughts and says them first, which makes him an intimidating figure for sure. 6. Universal Dislike It is very hard to find someone with the degree of fame that 6 9 has who also doesn't seem to have any fans, because of his violent and unscrupulous past, for which he has shown apparently no remorse, it looks very bad to come out as a fan of the rapper and risk saying that you support him and his unsatisfactory choices. Where fans of other stars might line up to be interviewed on the street about their favorite aspect of their idol, apparently nobody actually likes 6 9 Yet his songs top the charts and his videos gain millions of views. So what gives? It seems that people can't look away from the train wreck and continue to follow his career in spite of the bad publicity, which of course is how he has remained so popular despite having very few fans. It's a vicious cycle. Number 7. He isn't afraid to start beef Knowing what we do about the rapper, it isn't surprising that 6 9 isn't afraid to start totally ridiculous and unfounded beef with other stars. It seems that he isn't afraid to say whatever he wants, and this shows up in how he interacts with fellow celebrities in the industry. After his release from prison, Hernandez has been unapologetically active on social media as he starts drama and apparently makes no effort to quell his controversial and much-hated brand. On one occasion, he publicly proclaimed that Ariana Grande and Justin Bieber's song Stuck With You, which topped the Billboard Hot 100 chart at number one, just ahead of his number three song Gooba, was only able to get ahead of his own release because the two stars had paid to get it there. He claimed that they had used six credit cards to accomplish this, although nobody is certain where he got this information or if he even believes it himself. Of course, the Stick With You artists have vehemently denied this claim is unfounded, and we tend to believe them. Next up, rejected charity donation. Even though 6 9 appears to take no interest in rehabbing his brand or gaining any sort of public favor, he did attempt to make a sizable donation of $200,000 to No Kid Hungry, which is an American charity organization that fights child poverty and starvation. However, despite the fact that the donation would have undoubtedly made a difference, the organization declined the donation because of his controversial past and upsetting child sex charges. Laura Washburn, who is the director of strategic communications, said that his donation was rejected because, as a child-focused campaign, it is our policy to decline funding from donors whose activities do not align with our mission and values. You have to be pretty hated to have such a substantial donation to children's poverty be returned but we can't blame them for not wanting to be associated with him either. Number 9. Ongoing Feuds In yet another example of the fact that 6 9 doesn't care one bit about what he says or who he says it to, the rapper has engaged in an astonishing number of intense feuds since his release from house arrest in 2020. Among the objects of his publicized anger are Chief Keef, Meek Mill, 50 Cents, Lil TJ, Annual AAYG, Rich the Kid, Future, 
Trippy Red, Lil Durk, and Lil Reese. It seems that nobody is safe from being provoked by Hernandez, whether they have previous associations or not. While it's unclear whether it's a publicity stunt in order to garner headlines that overshadow his less than satisfactory record, or 6 9 truly believes that these rappers are worthy of his ire, it's safe to say that we can understand why his fellow rappers are scared of the volatile Hernandez. And finally, overall bad publicity. As if you needed more reasons as to why 6 9 is genuinely universally disliked, his record of offenses that have never gone to court is even longer than those that he was charged for. In one instance, he assaulted a 16-year-old boy in a mall who was videotaping him, which resulted in a misdemeanor assault charge. In another instance, a woman came forward to claim that she had a sexual relationship with the rapper while she was underage, and the relationship continued even after she made him aware. However, she chose not to press charges. Hernandez has also been involved in dozens of other altercations and fights at various locations, with everyone from police officers to fans to fellow rappers. His manager has been investigated in connection with two shootings targeting a rapper that 6ix9ine had beef with, as well as a shooting on set of his music video. It seems that scandal and drama are just attracted to the borderline frightening and unlikable star. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thanks for watching.